Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some pre-orders in from everywhere. We got a soda box from Cope Fresh. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Let's see what we got here. There's a whole mountain of stuff. First, we'll start off with this Walgreens box, which has, ooh, nice. It's actually minty, too. We have a blade. Nice, huh? It's actually mint. Blade from the comic, which is nice. So not Wesley Snipes' blade, but from the comic. Pretty dope, right? I dig it. It's got that shared exclusive sticker. I ordered this on a restock. So that was nice to be able to scoop that up. Let's see, what is this? Liquidators. Oh, gotcha. Nice. We got some pocket pops here. She-Ra and He-Man. These were some that I picked up. I believe I got like two of these for 10. It was a bundled deal, but they're coming out of box anyway. Let's do that. I have a Pop Town Snake Mountain. That is going to be perfect for these two to go hang out with. Skeletor and his Terror Claws. Look at that. Have you ever seen a Pocket Pop get... Ooh, he stands up. Nice. Some of them are a little top-heavy, so they sit a little wonky. Let's get She-Ra out. Again, add a box with both of these. Because they have a fourth one, but it is metallic Terra Claws and regular. So I have the metallic like this with no screw part in the head. She there's a Princess of Power. Oop, she is gonna need. Maybe she won't need any putty. Sometimes they need just a little bit of putty. But it looks like she's good. She's standing up. All right, what else we get? Here's a box of sodas. Nice, Coke. So I bought a bunch of them from them. Nice, dude. Coke's the man. He sent out some pretty cool sodas. Nice mixture here, dude. Appreciate you. I got a true, well, seven pack, I guess. I bought three originally from him. And then I bought three originally from him, and then I went back and double dipped during his auction, and this is what I ended up getting. So we got a Freddy Mercury. Let's see, uh, I don't think I've checked this out, so that's why I popped them. Nice. It's a good stylized version of him. Nice to see Funko utilizing their licensing. Very nice. Cool. That is dope. Nice, dude. And it is 16,700 pieces for Mr. Mercury. Nice. All right, let's check out Peter Potamus. This was one of my favorite ones from the first few soda waves that they put out. There he is. I thought for some reason... They put the Chase picture on the back. I think he has like a lemonade shirt for the Chase version, which is cool. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Nice. There he is. Looks like it kind of got sealed in there itself. So these are like all new. Thanks, dude. These are awesome. Well, so far they're all new. There is Peter Potamus from the Peter Potamus show. And this is a 5,000 piece run for the common. And then I said the lemonade shirt is a limited to 1,000. So friggin' sweet on that. I'll put them back into the enclosure. Nice. Bob Rouse is the boss. 10,000 pieces for Mr. Rouse. Hit the sharpener with the knife and then clean the blade. Here is Mr. Rouse. Now the chase one is him flocked, but the palette is different as well. So is the paint on the end of the brush. 
believe the paint on the end of the brush is yellow. I just can't get a, an angle right here. Yeah, the brush is yellow instead of green, and then the palette's different. And I think he's wearing the same clothes, but he's flocked, bearded, and head. That is pretty cool. Awesome selection here, Coke. Great auction. Sad to see you sell in the collection, but you're probably happy that you were able to move it, most of it in one auction, so that's pretty cool. Captain Cole. This is one of my favorite DC ones that they've dropped. 6250. I have been hunting that flocked one. I just haven't bought committed to a case, I guess. I bought three of them from somewhere, I forgot where, and I didn't get a chase. So I was like, eh, if I, I should have just bought all six right then and there if I was going to commit to buy three. But here's Captain Cold, and he's flocked booties, gloves, like the uh, cloak, if you would, and then the cowl here on his hood is all going to be flocked for the, for the chase. But this is a cool one for sure. Definitely a dope figure. I dig it. I dig it. He also has those, those Mole Man glasses. The Mole Man glasses. Because, again, he's uh, one of two. I think they just dropped Martian Manhunter and Captain Cold so far. I mean, there's, like, Jokers, but I don't really consider them because they're, like, movie ones, not comic ones. He's a comic one, so, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Coat. Appreciate you on that, brother man. You did the hookup with a nice selection, as always. Thank you. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, nice, a two-pack. I won this on an auction on eBay. It's the only one who bid on it. We have a Faker Skeletor two-pack from 2018. SDCC, very dope. This is a vinyl two-pack. I totally dig these figures. They remind me a lot like the sodas, the way they're stylized. Um... The body's a little different on these, but the facial way that they kind of do these, I think, reminds me of the soda figures and the kind of stylized nature of the vinyl. It's like got a retro -y look to it. So I really like these. This is the last one I needed for the set. So I have the full set of vinyls for the Motu line. So that's pretty dope. That's actually really dope. And this is the last piece for it. So put that right there. All right. What else have we got? We got one more box. This is a pre-order from U2s which I did slice open already. Let's get out. Thank goodness it didn't get damaged. Angry Video Game Nerd, yeah, yeah. Let's check this out. This was a pre-order back from February. He's going for like $400 now, but this is for my personal collection, for sure. First off, let's check out the sleeve. We got the nerd here, ready to go. He's got everything on. That is awesome. I actually have this headpiece. It's pr actually pretty dope. It's a, um, it's got a little scope up here, and then it's got the microphone here. But um, this was from an episode specifically where he he basically dressed up like that. Uh, in the episode, here is some it looks like some scenage from the nerd room. There you go. You got his little his little plug and plays back there. The retro TVs. This is a really nice touch here, and definitely you could tell the people over at U2's um, definitely are fans. The background's got that logo. At least this isn't shit pickle. <laughs> nice, shit pickle. Pretty freaking sweet. He's going to take you back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. He'd rather have a buffalo take a diet or a dump in his ear. <laughs> He'd rather eat a rotten asshole, have a road-killed skunk, and down it with a beer. He's the angriest gamer you've ever heard. He's the angry video game nerd. There you go. Superb. One of the first YouTubers that I actually uh, discovered back in the day in the early 2000s because um, of his video game reviews and the way he made it very comical, the way we all kind of experienced the same types of things um, you know, in games and throughout games. So pretty dope that uh, it was neat to like look back at those things in a comical way. Now I'm going to probably take him out of box, maybe in another video, but uh, he does have the power pad back there as his cape. So pretty dope on that. I'm sure you could see the, the foot buttons back there. That's pretty dope. All right. Anyway, this is pretty cool. This was a great unboxing and I'm glad I was able to add this to the collection. 
So why don't you let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite from this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that. Have a great rest of your day.